Welcome, 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 welcome to the big blue house. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the big blue house. Raw love, my little bulls. All right, my little bulls. And I'm telling you, my little civilians, you are stubborn as F right now. I can feel it. I can feel it. It's like the stubbornness is in your veins and your blood is boiling. Okay? It's boiling. Jeez Louise. All right? The warrior. I, I don't know if you think you need to be the warrior right now, but damn, yeah, you're the warrior. All right? Look, at even the high priest is the heir. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, woo-wee, woo-wee, my little Tavidians are no joke. Whoa. I'll take that one that nobody saw. All right, I'll read that after. I do what I do. I do what I do. All right? So, I totally understand why, uh... The order I'm going in, all right. I actually really enjoy blending the energy this way, so I kind of hope in two weeks they give it to me like this again, all right. So apparently, the universe likes that I blend energy when I got creative with my last video, so I'll probably do that for you again with this the moon read, okay. I'm going to do it for you guys. I'm going to do it, do it, do it. It's harvest time. It's a very fortunate time in your life, all right? But maybe that's why, Taurus, maybe that's why your blood is, is the way it is right now. Not that it's a bad thing, but man, are you like fixated on something? And it's not, it's not a person, believe that. That's not the energy I'm feeling. I'm feeling you like... I got goosebumps, like no joke, okay? Like, all right, we need a little coverage. We need a little coverage right now. To me, this is also saying, because it's the seven of wands, this is defense mode, okay? This is, somebody was wearing a mask, but this is a magical time in your life, and you got the power, all right? Like, go watch a Harry Potter movie. It might inspire you. Um, At the bottom of the deck, there you go again, that fortune, all right? So this is on a natal chat. This is the X marks the spot. This was supposed to come to you now, okay? That's what that is. I just saw two, two, two. All right, so we got the eight of wands and the seven of crystals, all right? So, and these were all reversed. So this is harmony. This is dullness, okay? This is these two colors right here, confusion. We're getting out of that, though, all right? Like, I don't... It's, well, it's, no, it's, it's a little confusion, but it's, it's not, it's not, it's not though, because you are not confused. These are sevens, so it, it's, it's going after what this is, and, and being, okay. Here's the part, okay, I'm, I'm understanding. It's the harmony, it's the fortune, all right, like, you've, You've suffered the last few months for sure, if not longer, okay, is what this is saying to me. They understand that. Everything you went through, there was a reason. Lessons behind everything. Now is the time to stand up for who you are. Stop looking at things so bleakly, okay? Because um, right now is a time for harmony, for love. It's, it's time for things to come together. It's almost like you don't want it because you're fixated on your journey at one point you did you pray to the angels like you would have you would have took trumpets out for this person okay but not right now all right because your priorities are in check but you got to learn to balance everything out in your life okay like that you can't just leave certain aspects out not when you've learned certain lessons and you've grown into who you are today okay so Now is not the time to ignore certain aspects of your life, okay? It's just it's just not. See? Flirt. You, that's what I'm saying. Like, you can't. Now is not the time for you to just be like, well, you know. <laughs> no, you have to. You have to extend yourself. You have to extend the energy in other aspects of your life. But if you're saying, well, if I'm passionate about what it is I do for work and da-da-da-da-da, then, you know, they, there's that part of that passion. All right, now nah, it doesn't work that way. Okay, so codependency and ro and romantic feelings. So there was something affecting this situation. All right, I don't know if you were codependent on somebody. If there was, 
alcohol, if there was a drug, if, if it was something, okay? But the, here's the deal. You most definitely have, okay, you most definitely have a new situation on your hands, all right? And you got feelings for this person. They want you to keep an open mind, but you're not. That's the dullness. It's just, it's, it, that's your stubbornness. That's your stubborn ass right there, all right? My little stubborn ass, that is you. Stubborn as F. Like I said, okay, like I felt it. That is what that is. Listen to me, my little Tiridians. You either have two people in your life, you're dating two people or you're about to, or if this person that you truly love doesn't come in or you're not going to allow it to come in because of your stubborn ass right now, okay, you, you, you're going to have an opportunity, all right? This is new love. It's, it's true love, all right? It, this is... This could be so powerful that this is the same person coming in as brand new true love and you're like, what? No. All right. Or you're so stubborn. You want the new love. You don't want the true love. You want the new love because the true love already hurt you. Okay. This is the time. You have to figure this out. You don't, there's, you know, there's no way around this. Okay. Like you don't want the old love, even though it's true love, you don't want it anymore. Okay, holy shit, Taurus. You're like, um, no, um, no, thank you. And this person's like, I'm telling you, this person's gonna come to you and they're gonna be like, what happened to you? Like, for real, Z, like, they're not even gonna know. They're gonna be like, what happened to you? I'm literally feeling this other person's energy right now. Like, they're gonna be baffled. Like, this is so destined. You have the star right there, the fortune. The X marks the spot, okay? This is what I'm saying. Like, this person, I'm feeling their energy. Like, they're kind of sad. Because they're like, what happened to the connection? And you're talking to them, and you're like, wow, I can't believe I'm channeling. You're talking to them, and you're like, well, you happened. Like, you happened. You disappeared. You, you gone. You bounced. You left. What do you mean what happened to the connection? I let it go. And I can see this person's face. But I can feel your soul. But it doesn't matter. Fuck, man. Holy shit. Oh. Oh, man, guys. Let's see what the cards tell you. Holy shit. Tell me about courage. You, you, it's not that you don't have the courage. You don't want it. it. It's not that you're fearing it. You don't You don't want it. Look at how ugly. The seven of swords. But remember I told you like someone's wearing a mask? This is you right now. And then you have, again, another seven. You got seven, seven, seven on top of each other. Um, it's not seven, it's nine, but you have seven, seven, seven on the board. You're like, nope, look it all up in your head. You're like, nope, that sneaky son of a bitch. It's not that you don't have the courage, you do. You don't want it. You, you're too stubborn. You just, you don't want it because of the past. All right. So I don't know if you think this person had a codependency or, or you were codependent on this person and it didn't work out. And you're like, I'm a brand new person. Like, I don't even want to think about putting my sister, sister self. I don't even want to think about putting myself in this situation because if you do, you know, you don't, you don't want them to be codependent on you or vice versa. Like, you know, the connection is, is so tight that you just, you don't, it's not that you don't want it, not, no, you don't, you don't want it, but, like, because of that, though, because it's too risky for you, that's it, it's too risky for you, spiritual meaning of 777, look out for angel number 777, because this is a message from your angels, 
This angel number is a very spiritual number, and tripled means its power is magnified three times as well. You know, it's going after your best traits. You know, they, they know you're doing that right now. They know you're persevering, okay? But they're also inviting you to, to add a little love in your life. You can't ignore it, all right? It's like, it might be a cultural difference going on right here. But right now, it's like, you feel like you're gambling, okay? And I just said that. You feel like you're gambling with your life, and it's not worth it to you. Um, But it's, it's a message. It means abundance has been waiting for you. It, you just need to unlock it. But you need to align with this energy. And I'm telling you, you're not having it. So I think with this Taurus energy, and especially with Scorpio, like it even makes you more darkness. It, it makes you dark like you don't even want to go towards it. But they're saying, you know, like, listen, you have, like, they're going to throw the tower on you if you don't, okay? Um, You prayed for this too. Your prayers have already been answered, okay? If you want to experience miracles and all this stuff and abundance, you got to... You got to go towards it. You got to stay positive. You got to release things, okay? They understand, you know, it's going to be a a, a a process on accomp accomplishing what it is you want to accomplish with this situation, but it's also a surprise, okay? How many times have you called to the angels about this situation, and now they're saying, now you just want to let it go? And it was just 11-11. So you have 2-2-2, two, 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 the 5-5-5, five, 11-11, five, five, 11, 11, and 7-7-7. Seven, seven, seven. The synchronicities are no joke you are having, okay? Um, This is you being stubborn as F. All right, this is you. Tell me about how many. You know, this person at one point did make you happy, but right now it's not even like, you're like, nah. And this is like the fortune, all right? It's the wheel of fortune. It's X marks the spot. Like, this is it. All right, like, Go with the flow. The wheel is here, but you know the wheel is here. You already know it is, all right? Like you got the feelings, but you 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 want the new love. You don't want the old love, and even if the old love is the new love, you don't want it. Okay. You you you're not. It's too much of a risk for you right now. Tell me about illness. You're not having it, but yeah, you, you don't. It's so universal right here with the wheel of fortune and fortune. You you don't have a choice but to be faced with this. Here's the ace of pens. Here's that new stat. But it's like bullseye. Like I said, like this is this is you being like keeping an open mind. Like you're like, I don't, I don't like you're stubborn as F. Like bullseye. Like now this like you you're looking at it in a bullseye. <laughs> like you want me to give you time? Like, I'm telling you. <sighs> this person's gonna want a new stat. This person that obviously had issues or you had issues with them it's something all right but now they want you to flirt with this person and you're like are you effing out of your mind all right that's what you're saying to the universe are you effing out of your mind i can see the conversation this person's like what happened well what happened is you became a brand new person and you stopped begging or pleading for someone or something Tell me about flirt. <clears throat> this person that you're dealing with has their friends are no good. All right, because this codependency and this flirt, this is this person's energy that you're not liking. They're looking at let your friends help you. Okay, so they they're hanging out with people they shouldn't have, or they were. That might have played part in something. Or they were too busy dating, having fun. You know what I'm saying? Outside factors, for sure. For sure, Zs. Because this is this person's energy. This is all you. This is them going right in that direction. It's, it cuts it off, like, literally, like, psh, nope. Trickiness. Nah. You're like, nah. All right. So flirt. The high priestess. So it's, it's asking you to flirt. You know. You know all damn day who this person is. But you're like, psh, I think what this is saying is you're secretly holding in feelings too. Tell me about the high priestess. Yeah, you just like no way. I'm not. You're not having it. I actually am not feeling bad for this other person, but I'm like, yeah. See, this is you. You're like you want me to nurture this. Your back is turned towards it. You know who this person is. You kind of know what you need to do, but yeah, you're not. You don't want to nurture this. 
you, you don't want to nurture this. You think it's too tricky with the nine of swords and the seven of swords. It's, it's not about you having coverage. It's nah, you don't even like who this person hangs out with. You don't even like who this person associates with. <sighs> but what if this person has changed? The wheel is here, guys. Let's see what codependency takes us. All right, it's codependency. Right now, you're not having it. You're looking at their friends too, saying a big, a huge F you. And I, I'm like, F you. Court usually swears, but for some reason, I didn't want to swear right there. But for, like, holy crap, like that's really weird because you're like, fuck you. And this is to the outside influence. Here's the father of Pence. Your back is turned to him. He's looking right at the codependency, but he's looking at you. Listen to me. Here's the deal, too. This person you're dealing with, they're consulting their mother. Because they know it's going to be a struggle coming in. They know they had codependency issues. They're going to confront you. But right now, they're, they're confronting their counsel. Like, they're confronting either a therapist or their mother. I think they're talking to their mother. Because this is the other person's energy. Right? From here on out, this is all you. Okay? Right now, this person's going to confront you. They're going to tell you about this addiction, this codependency. This, I feel an illness. They're going to confront you. But right now, they're talking to their mother about it. Others, they're talking to their friends, and you're, you're not having it. You don't like their friends. Others are literally talking to their mother, getting advice. And this mother is a nurturer. I feel like some of you are like, I don't like the mother. I can feel it. But I hope you know the mother before you say that. Tell me about the mother of Pence. This is, or she's the high, nah, he's, he's talking to the mother. She's the mother. In other cases, it's just, it's the two of you. But right now, to me, this is straight up the mother. Yeah, see? Son of Cups. He's talking to his mother. He's telling his mother how he feels, and, this, and the mom's nurturing him. The mom's actually, like, the mother's nurturing him. But I think in a very good way, not in a way where you're going to be, like, I think it's a good influence. So let's get out of their energy because this is for you. So right now, you're not having it. You're like, nope, all right? Like, how many, what, how many? Like, no, you are stubborn as F right now, all right? You are a true bull. Tell me about romantic feelings. So this is you, you know, you, you definitely have those, all right? And I think they're going to come back around. And I don't know if you're worried about it or not, but I don't think you're worried about it like that. So you got the nine of pence, you're not. You're so confident in who you are and where you're going that you literally are like, I don't need this in my life. And it's not that you don't love this person. And I don't, I don't think you're scared, all right? What this is telling me, it's like you have enough confidence to deal with this situation. But when it comes to... When it comes to restoring restoring these feelings, it's a little bit of fear because it was reversed, all right? And there's the feather, the feathers. So to me, it's like you're, you're more worried about your travel, all right? You're a little hesitant to get back into this. And I don't blame you because I'm looking at all this, okay? But the fact is, I don't think you want to take it. You're like, I want the new love. <sighs> Tell me about keeping open minds. All right, it's the six of wands. They want you to keep an open mind, but you're not because it was reversed. You don't want victory in this anymore. And at one point you were, because these are all back and forth. At one point you wanted all this. It's clear as that. And now you're like, nah, you're not. And to me, so it's kind of like you're letting your ego. And I don't feel like, I don't feel like your ego and pride. I mean, yeah, a little bit. But I don't feel like you think you overpower this person by any means. I don't feel anything like that. It's just, you don't want to backtrack. You've been listening to Courtney for too long. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah. Um, but 
you guys are different and you, you you differ you obviously differ all right and you, you don't know what you're like shit you just don't want to risk it all right but i'm telling you like i don't feel like your pride or ego what it is it's just you're stubborn your your blood is boiling because this person's like what happened and you're like well, what do you mean what happened you're looking at him like he's got 10 fucking heads or her like what do you mean like don't tell me you don't know what i mean Tell me about new love. It's the ten of swords reversed. You don't. It's the end of it, but you don't. You don't want it. All right. With the nine of wands, you don't want to take. I mean, with the um, the six of the six of wands. Nah, you can't have the six of wands, right? What? Oh, that's the seven. Holy shit. What have you been doing? Okay, shit. All right, there's been growth. Oh, I called that out as a six of wands in my last one, but they know I've been reading it as a six of wands. Ha, <laughs> that's funny. But here's a six of wands because this came out in the last one too. So it, it, it's coming out. But you're like, you don't want, you don't, you're, you're not afraid. You just, you don't, you're like, no. Again, it's a bow. You're not having it. You're like, Fuck that. You're just not. But you can be victorious. You just you're so guarded. You don't want to let your guard down. So there's another seven on top of the sevens. All these sevens, okay? Like you just yeah, like I'm not doing it. Tell me about true love. To to me, it's like, yeah, I love you, and I'm gonna do what I need to do for you, but we don't need to do it together. And there's boundaries. <laughs> like you know, the son of one. So it's, and it was reversed too, but there's that, there's that like snake, like, but it's reversed. You're not, you're not taking action. But this is a romance of a love time, a lifetime that you're not, you're not having right now. The mother of swords, look at, you're not effing having it. Oh, my little Teridians. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. It's, it's kind of like your, your read is up in the air where this is gonna go and that's the way it's supposed to be and that's the way i'm leaving it okay because this is on you but this is how you feel about the scenario and you got reminder someone just had that too this is why we're going in order pisces had this okay um <clears throat> it's basically saying you're afraid to make this mistake again if you're dealing with the pisces so aren't they or you got pisces in you you know what i'm saying but this is, let me just read it. Sometimes I got to remind you of lessons already learned. When I provide you with a similar situation where you follow the same path blindly or choose another direction, all right? Because you're like, nah, I'm choosing another direction, clear as day. When you draw this symbol, the reminder is asking you to remember all that you've learned in life and love up until now. Don't forget who you are already. It isn't necessary to learn the same thing twice. Then again, how else do you learn? Keep the faith. All will be good. You can start you can start again if you make a mistake. If you stumble, I will surely catch you. Remember what it is you know. So if it backfires and, you, and it fails, then the universe got you. But you're not even going to let this backfire. You're like, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's to you, you're like, no. Like, it's no, no, no. All right? But, <laughs> you know, this is... This is you dwelling on the past. Habbering on the past is what you're doing. You should literally go watch the fishies. I'm not kidding. Because this is true love too. All right. Like, I really think, you know, and I said that in a read the other day, you guys should really watch Pisces right now, all of you, no matter your zodiac, because this is like kind of like that scenario. You're not having it. You're like, I don't need an FM reminder. He or she was my reminder. Like, nope. All right. And then look at that, it's doing that again. I did it with Pisces too. It looks like a star and it's my elephant pendant. So it's destined again, okay? Like, so I don't know what you're gonna do. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Right now you're cutting it out of your life. You're not having it. Like, look at, it's like wisdom. Look at all you've learned. The sword is down though. So it's like, you don't wanna battle with this person, but you don't wanna put any action into it either because it's just to you, it's like, it's that saying, sometimes love's not enough. And this is where you this is where you've gotten yourself because of growth, but this person did them to themselves too. So to me, they got a lot of uh 
<sighs> they got a lot of work to do with you because I can literally see them like what happened? What happened to us? All right, because they know it's an inseparable bond. And it says you and your loved ones are safe. All right, so you're in cancer energy right now too. So it's like, or they want you to be in that cancer energy, that nurturing, loving, you know, emotional. Zodiac right now. Because right now, you are angry as F. Okay. And you're not letting the emotions F with you at all. It's I don't even know if you would have a conversation. Like you're not having it. No, I actually I think you would have a conversation because I saw you guys having a conversation. Because you're not an asshole. That's why your sword's down. But you're also not having it because you've learned lessons. And, and that's why I'm saying, that's why that card reminder came out because that is so fixated in your head that this can't work. You want new. But it could if you put effort into it. It's saying it can be harmonious. The wheel's here. It's a fortunate time for this all to go down. It's a matter or not of whether or not you can let your guard down. All right, a new start is coming. With something private in your life. Something's rising to the connection of people, places, or things. Or what you hold dearest. This this can also have to do with a family member. All right? Or moving house. It's time to move forward. It's a it's a private time of your life. When this card comes up, it's a message for you. You know, um, what have you been neglecting? It, it's time for you to reconnect. Whether family, loved one, anyone. If you're neglecting yourself, you need to take better care of you and nurture yourself. All right? If you're insecure. It's holding you back. It, it's something that you need to work on right now. Doing so can can bring out your heart's desire. All right. So the nine of pence was reversed. I told you, but to me, it's it's not like you don't have confidence. It, you're more worried. All right. This is no lack of confidence here. Okay. This is you're just worried. You just don't desire what you used to. But even though that fire is there, you you're too like uh, like I'm not lighting a match to this again because that like. Too many bridges have been burnt. Like you threw a match on that bridge. Like you burnt the bridge because they burnt the bridge. So you're literally going to have to rebuild the bridge. It says, let someone a bit closer to you. A new cycle is starting. It's time for you to re review your goals. Okay. Um, meditation is good to banish your insecurities. Spending time near water will also bring peace to answers. Like I'm saying, I don't, I don't find insecurities here. Some might, maybe, maybe it's speaking to them. I don't know what to tell you. To me, there is no insecurity here. There, there's no, there's just not. I can see it. I can feel it. I, I to me, it's, yeah, well, maybe there's insecurities. Maybe this person there's something underlying that you're harboring, possibly, okay? But, and it will come out. Maybe you're afraid of that coming out. I don't see you being afraid, though. I really don't. I think you're looking at it in a very mature manner where you're just like, I'm not making this mistake again. But I don't think it's going to be a mistake again. And I can say that because it's sitting on harmony with the Wheel of Fortune and, and this. Like, this can happen if you want it to, but I just don't think you do. And underneath that <clears throat> is the Ace of Cups. <clears throat> um, it is true, true love at one point, but you're just you're so stubborn right now. You're like, you're just not having it, okay? But the universe is literally asking you to let this person come a little closer. You're like closer, closer. I don't think so. Oh my goodness gracious! I wish you the best of luck. It was kind of left up in the air, okay. Um, and at the bottom of this deck, don't let your past hold you back. You're definitely dealing with Pisces. Pisces have the same thing, and they were dealing with a little insecurity too. But to them, it wasn't like an, it wasn't insecurity too. It's kind of like the same feeling. You're like the bull, and they were like, they needed a breath of fresh air too, okay, like. Go watch Pisces. Um, but this is left up in the air because regardless of the love and the conversation I just saw, I, I don't know. You're just like, I know you got a lot of love, okay? But 
even if you were to take this person back, I think it's going to take you a very long time to, to open up your heart chakra again. And it's not because you don't love them. It's you've learned hard lessons and the, these lessons broke you, broke you to the point where you lit a match to the bridge, not out of anger, because you just were like, that was the hardest thing I've ever went through in my entire effing life. And you are rat ass crazy. If you think for one second, I am going to take a step backwards with your ass. Because you know the connection. So I think there is a little fear there of repeating. But um, it's on you to bring harmony into your life. To work with all aspects of your life. Okay. I, I feel like you think you find passion elsewhere. But that's not the passion at one point you, you seek. And, and now it's coming back and you're like, uh, no, 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 no. So I wish you the best. I love you guys so much. Have a fantastic few weeks.